a new jig at home. So we have these guys with the jiggers. Um, but in a band, and a chicken yard. What about the rainbow? Sasa, no, not an animal. Henry, Henry, now we're my twins. Ah, Simona Fanana, we're nine in Nanny. Nanny, Dan, Dan and Henry. When I saw my class, when I saw my class. Class Gani. Seven. Class seven. I could not class seven. We could junior high. Kumba for ye. Now we were? Class eight. Alafu? Ukawacha. Ukawacha kwa nini? Hmm? Kumba mezama na ito nani? Henry. Henry. Kwa nini uliacha shule? Pesa ndili kwa ngu. Pesa ngapi? Hmm? Pesa ngapi? Hmm? He angalia uku unijibu. He dropped out of school. Pesa ngapi? Ah, sasa uko enda uko. So he just decided to stop going to school, and he's jiggered. Me na taka huru bichiule. But arudi ni kuli pia. So he, he doesn't want to continue with school. He wants to go to a technical school so that he can do a course in electronics. He wants to repair televisions and radios and cell phones. Okay, electronics. So, uyu pia kona wadudu? Oh, you need to go out. Okay. Oh, the girl. So the mother favors her girl. But she she hates the boys. My wife is a bastard. Now who born? Mama, na chukia wana ume. Nita mnyanga nyanya ni ende na wabaki na kasi chan. Tuone nani atalinda yeye. So, um, guys. Another home that uh, really needs help. See the thatch. When the thatch grows old, I can identify with this. Our home had things growing <laughs> on our roof like that. I, I, I can. It takes me back many, many, many years back. We used to have that happening in our home. And then we had the bird that always did a nest somewhere there. We, we, we had that, and somebody said, this bird is bringing blessings. I think they were right. <laughs> so, eh, the house is very, it's very low. This is her kitchen. She has the firewood. Firewood in, in the traditional uh, African setup, it is the measure of the woman. A woman who, uh, who is a woman of valor. A woman of strength must have a huge stack of firewood. <laughs> and this reminds me of my grandmama. She used to have that huge stack of firewood. And there would be, you know, like um, uh, meat that has been uh, not really boiled. Uh, the, like the meat that has been dried on the sun. Maybe they just boil a bit and then they dry the meat up. It's smoked. It's actually called smoked meat. They would put smoked meat on top of the firewood so that uh, as the smoke goes up, it continues, you know, uh, seasoning the meat. So that meat could go on for even a year. So when a special guest comes in, they take out the meat that is so black and it has stayed for long, but it's still good. <laughs> then you eat. So... I remember that, and grandmama, you know, she used to have that. So this is this traditional setup. It reminds me of my days growing up in, in a poor village with poor parents. Unfortunately, it, it, people don't like it. This is not a pride. It's not a symbol of pride. It is something people just want to get out of. So having this really in this modern day is just, you know, not right. So they're very poor. And I want to thank um, Stacy, Stacy and, um, and Shirley Tana, who build houses for 
the families in Bumola. This is the Kakamega County. And Lord willing, it's a very short. <laughs> it's a really short. Okay. <laughs> it's really short. And oh. <laughs> oh man, and it's just bad news. It is just bad news. When it rains, really, there's water all over this place. And, you know, she has put, she loves beauty. That's why. She, <laughs> yeah. She's not a woman who just leaves it like that. <laughs> so, uh, and remember, this is a jigger house. It has jiggers. Baso river na lalanga wapi? Wanalala kwa jikoni. Zasa hapa ndiyo kasichana kanalala na we. Uko na mzee? Oh, and I can you Yes, yeah, so the, she has a husband who's just gone out. Ama am an sana? Akunya? And then Ganisa? Ganisa Gani? SK. Okay. So the husband doesn't really drink. And. Uh, so why can't this be repaired? Is it certain things you have to put on there? You can't yeah, just... you, get, you get the thatch, another grass to put in again, to fill it up. Uh, and uh, it is just in bad shape. So she needs a house. Uh, Rosemary. 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 Otieno. Muanga. Okay. We're going to go to Rosemary. What are you going to go to Rosemary? Okay, so she has four kids. She had five, now there are four. One died. So she has two boys and two girls. Okay, and... Okay, Jana, what do you want to do with your school? Jana, I'm going to teach you. 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 Okay, okay. I understand. He's a slow learner. So, because he was going there and not really getting much, the teacher said, no, let him not, let, let him not waste time. I think he's a special child. So the teacher said, uh, uh, Henry, uh, Henry, yeah. Henry, the teacher said, no, let him just uh, get a place, a technical school for him. And I, I support that. because Do the we have, boys sleep in here? Yeah, the boys, no, no, the girls sleep here. She has two girls. Uh -huh. They sleep here and the boys, they sleep in the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen. Because we, we saw some two rags of, you know, mattress rags. That's what, that's what they sleep in. So, guys, uh, we need to help this woman to get, to get a house. Yeah. So, yeah. if you feel led to help, please do. And God will bless you. God is blessing people for blessing these guys in Africa. And we thank God because... There will be two houses, right? Because the boys have to have their own house. Yeah, mama can have a big one and then the boy can have a small one. The boys can have a small yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Because the boys can't stay in the same And this one with the mother. Home. Yeah, it's culturally, it's culturally not, right. not right. Yeah. For their age. Yeah, so, yeah. So we pray that God will make way for her to, to get a house. And uh, pray that, you know, she'll take care of that house. <laughs> yes. Please. She has really shown that. You know, as much as it's not looking very good, I have to make it to deck it. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she loves beauty and she loves art. <laughs> she, she really does. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm happy and and you know when God looks at uh, what you have and you are taking care of it, um, you know He gives you whatever you you, you ask for because you have proved. That and she has, yes, she's having a. You have. Yeah, I have that. <laughs> <laughs> a water pot. For those who don't know, this is the African refrigerator. <laughs> when you when you when you pour water here, there is a natural smell that um, gets into your water, and the water will smell so good. It purifies, it purifies the water, and it smells so nice, and it tastes so nice. So. <laughs> and it keeps the water cool. It's a certain type of. of, of you said it's a certain type of. 
thing the, the pot is made of that purifies and keeps the water very cool. Yeah, it, right? it, it, it's called the filtration or something like that. No, the, the, Not really. The filtration is in the soil, but this is just... Yeah. And the water is very cool, my. Mm -hmm. It's almost at, at um, you know, freezing point. Really? Almost. Yeah, it's cold. It's so, very cold. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have that. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I also have it in my house. And I have I have a, dis a dispenser. But uh, uh, the rest of the people use the dispenser. I love that water there. Okay. So we pray that God will make way for this precious woman to get a house and just be happy and Jigas will be gone for the glory of God. So, uh, donors, God has given you an opportunity. You know, one thing that I must say now that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me is to say that we are not giving because we are rich. We are giving because God lives in our hearts. And because he lives in our hearts, he draws our hearts to Africa. You know, when you look at the global map, you see Africa is always at the center and people are on the, on the east or on the west. And sometimes when we, when we think about it, when we, 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 people say, oh, Africa is so poor, it has diseases and it has poverty and it has scams and it has all manner of things that are not good, Ebola and all these uh, things are in Africa. And they they turn the clock and they focus on the other parts of, of the world. But, you know, God has put Africa right in our faces. <laughs> the globe, the, the you know, the, the globe has Africa right in front of us. And there's a communication that the Spirit is speaking to the world. And a lot of people have not gotten this communication. The Lord is just saying that, please, to understand the world, understand Africa. That is where the heart of God is. That's where the blessing is. And truly speaking, our donors, the people who have been supporting Rise Up Society, God has blessed them. So I just wanted to say that, guys. And I know it's true because my body is shaking now because of the spirit. And let's bless this woman with a house. And God will bless us. You know, he will bless you. He will bless your children and the children's children to the fourth generation. And people will wonder, why is she so blessed? <laughs> why? And heaven would have recorded, it is because you blessed somebody in Africa.